Do you need to organize PDFs with PDF Element? Let's learn a simple way to split, rotate, and organize our PDFs. Organizing a PDF using the right tools is just as easy as doing it with paper counterparts. In this way, you'll be able to continue enjoying the flexibility that digital documents offer, and it'll be very easy for you to deal with problems such as needing multiple files, but sometimes in different formats, having to rebuild your document every time you need to add or remove pages, and converting the pages of a PDF into separate PDFs, or vice versa by performing repetitive processes. If you were used to working with paper documents, you probably missed the ease with which you could organize your documents. But we're gonna fix this over five parts. Number one, splitting our PDFs. Number two, deleting pages. Number three, inserting pages. Number four, extracting pages. And number five, rotating PDF pages. Stay with me to the end of this video and you'll be able to organize your PDFs just as easily as paper documents. Hello and welcome back to the PDF Element channel. Before continuing with this video, please make sure you have the most up-to-date version of PDF Element. You can get it from our website by clicking on the link in the description below this video. And remember, it is fully compatible with Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. Number one, splitting a larger PDF into multiple files that make it easier to read. If you're the legal affairs manager of an organization or company, you probably know how problematic or confusing it can be to work with large documents. Splitting your PDFs into smaller documents will help you organize the information much better. In addition, it'll be much easier for you to set daily reading or revision goals with smaller and correctly sized documents. Let me show you how to do this with PDF Element. You'll first need to open PDF Element and then open your document. You can do this by clicking on Open File. Once you have opened the document, go to the Page section. As soon as you do this, you'll be able to see the pages of your document organized by rows and columns. Now, all you have to do is click on the Split tool. Now, you will see a pop-up window. Be sure to check the Split by Number of Pages box and enter the number of pages you want per document. In this case, I will make my document split so that I only get one page per document. Now all you have to do is choose a destination path where the split documents will be saved. You can either type the path yourself or click the button with three dots to use Windows File Explorer to set the path. When you are ready, click OK. Now, after a few seconds, you will see a confirmation pop up notifying you that the process was successful. Simply click OK to continue. After a couple of seconds, you will notice that the Windows File Explorer will be highlighted on your taskbar. Open it there you will find your documents. As you can see, all the documents are in this folder. You can open them and check that they were split correctly. Splitting your documents has never been so simple before, but with this tool, you will undoubtedly be able to facilitate your reading and review processes from now on. Great, right? Let's move on to today's next tip. Number two, remove pages from a PDF to keep only the relevant information. Removing pages from a PDF is one of those last minute tasks that can become a real headache. Fortunately, with PDF Element, you can remove pages from your PDFs in just a few seconds. Let me show you how it's done. Open PDF Element and click on the Open File button and use the Windows File Explorer to open the document you want to remove pages from. Now, with your document open, go to the page section. Now select the page you want to remove. You will see three buttons at the top right of the document margin. To remove the page, you can click on the button on the right, or you can also access this option from the toolbar below the section bar. Once you have clicked on the remove button, you will see a confirmation pop-up appear. Simply click delete to confirm the process. That was it. You remove pages from your document in just a couple of seconds. I'm sure now you won't have problems removing pages anymore. But wait, there are still more tips. Let's get on to the next one. Number three, adding pages to your PDF instead of rebuilding it from scratch. Adding pages to a PDF can save you a lot of time and save you from rebuilding the whole document over again, just when you want to add new content to your document. With PDF Element, this process is very simple and it takes a few seconds. Let me show you how to do it. First, open PDF Element and use the Open File button to open the Windows File Explorer and select the file you want to add pages to. Once you have opened the document, head over to the Page section once again. In this section, click on the Insert tool. This will display a small drop-down list with two options. If you want, you can use the Blank Pages option to start creating a page using PDF Elements editing tools. Or you can also use the Form PDF option to insert pages from another PDF file. In this case, I will use the Form PDF option. Now, all you have to do is use Windows File Explorer to select the PDF with the content you want to insert into your document. Then you will see a pop-up appear where you must specify in which part of the document you want to insert the pages of the PDF that you selected in the previous step. In this case, I'm going to select a specific page. 
Now you just need to specify if you want the pages to be inserted before or after the page you specified. And that's it. It was pretty easy, right? From now on, you won't need to rebuild your documents from scratch. Instead, you can just add content and pages as you need. These tips are fascinating, and I'm sure they're making these tasks much easier for you. But hold on, because this next tip will blow your mind. Number four, extract pages to facilitate editing or reading tasks. Working with large PDFs can make some everyday tasks much more challenging. IT managers often work with these types of files and often have trouble collecting signatures. Fortunately, there is a simple solution to this problem. Extracting pages from a document will help you share lightweight files with only the concise and necessary information, especially when you expect other people to fill out the forms, insert signatures, or make edits. Remember, you can always insert back the pages you extracted to keep your document fresh. Let me show you how to extract pages from your PDF document easily with PDF Element. Open PDF Element and click on the Open File button. Now use Windows File Explorer to open your PDF. Now, once again, go to the page section and click on the Extract tool. Now you will see a pop-up where you must specify which pages you want to extract from the document. Be sure to check the Custom option and type in the number of pages you want to extract. To finish, just specify if you want the pages you extracted from your document to be deleted or not, and click OK. Now, a new tab will open in PDF Element. In this tab, you will find a PDF with the pages you chose to extract. And voila, now you can share the pages you extracted and reinsert them in your document later. Amazing, right? Now it's time to move on to today's last tip. Number five, rotate PDF pages to convert from portrait to landscape. Sometimes it's necessary to use the pages of a document horizontally, especially where you want to display charts, maps, tables, or images. With PDF Element, you can rotate pages in your document very easily. Let me show you how to do this. First, use PDF Element to open the document you want to rotate. Now, go to the page section. Then, select the pages you want to rotate. Remember that you can select multiple pages at once by holding down the control key and left clicking on the pages. Or you can also hold down the left click and drag to select. Now, all you have to do is use the rotate buttons. That was pretty straightforward, right? Now you can comfortably work with your documents in any orientation. I'm sure these tips have been very helpful and will make you much more comfortable working with documents from now on. And now you're able to harness the benefits of digital documents, but organize them just as easily as you would with paper documents. We're almost done, but first we need to answer some questions in our section, you ask, we answer. Question one, how to save one page from a PDF. After extracting a page from a PDF, it's important to note that although you can edit this page, you have not yet saved it. Fortunately, saving this page is very easy. To save a page, all you have to do is pull down the file menu and click on the save as option. Now Windows File Explorer will open automatically. All you have to do is set a destination location and name to save the pages you extracted from the document as a new document. When everything is okay, click on save. Question two, how to split PDF pages in half. Sometimes to reduce the size of a page and make it easier to send, it will be enough just to split the document in half. This is luckily not difficult with PDF element. All you have to do is open your document with PDF element and go to the page section to see how many pages it has. Now click on the split tool. Now simply divide the number of pages by two and enter the resulting value in the divide by number of pages box. Choose a destination location and click OK. Question three, how to change the order of pages in PDF. Rearranging the page order of PDF is a common thing to do, especially if you are a teaching assistant, as you'll probably need to make adjustments to make your documents suit your students' needs. PDF Element is especially effective at rearranging documents, since it will allow you to change the order of pages in an extremely intuitive way. Let me show you how to do this. First, open your document using PDF Element. You can do this using PDF Element's Open File button. Once you have opened your document, go to the Page section. Now you will see the pages of your document listed by rows and columns. Now, all you have to do is drag and drop the documents in the order you want to arrange them. Isn't this amazingly easy? Question four, how to convert landscape to portrait PDF. Converting a page from landscape orientation to portrait is very simply done. And all we have to do is open our document and go straight into the page section. In the page section, you can select the pages you want to rotate. Remember that you can select multiple pages at once by holding down the control key and left clicking on the pages or you can also hold down and left click and drag to select. Now, all you have to do is click the rotate button to set the orientation of the document to portrait. Now that's all you need to know in terms of organizing your PDFs. Thank you for staying to the end of this video and I hope all the tips in today's video have made you much more confident in managing your documents going forward. If you found this video useful, please drop a like below this video. And if you're looking for any specific tips, go into our channel and search for the keywords you're looking for. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future tip videos and I will see you later.